Thank you for watching this Kama Live show with your host Shikama. So I told you that my roommate bought a new house. Along with it, he got cable TV. I haven't watched TV nearly all of my life. I lived overseas. There weren't really anything entertaining on TV overseas. Some of the countries even had straight propaganda. Just, you will obey, you will obey, you know, stuff like that. I mean, they weren't subtle like the uh, TV is. So I've been watching the news because I get all of my news from alternative sources. Like I directly get the news directly from Egypt, directly from Syria, directly from Russia, directly, directly from the Ukraine, directly from Germany, what have you. So they, they actually tend to actually report news over there. And I notice, you know, I can bring up a guide on this cable TV and it'll have the same story on all of the slots. So whatever propaganda they're trying to put across here, they make sure they blanket the system so that you get the message. So I've been watching this and I'm just so fascinated about how terrible it is. It's just, it's awful. And I mean, it's just, just oozing with evil and it's all lies. I don't, I don't mean to sound like a kid, but it's, they, they just out and out come out and right out and lie. Like the beheading thing in, in, uh, in the Middle East, they have proven that it is a complete farce. It was a complete lie, blah, 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 blah. W one thing said that the reporter, the first reporter, had died a year earlier. So there was no possible way they could have beheaded him. Uh, be because I believe in that video, I didn't watch the video. I don't like to watch anything. Even. If I know that if it's a fight video or a crash video or somebody's going to get hurt by falling on a banister, I don't watch it. Do you think I would watch a beheading video? No, absolutely not. So I believe in that video, that guy talks. The entire thing was fake. He was already dead a year ago. Just like Osama bin Laden, he had already been dead for 10 years. And they said all of a sudden that they got him? Come on. Anyway, Shikama Live is declaring October to be encouragement month. I'm going to put out nothing but encouraging videos for the entire month. I am also want you to be encouraging the entire month, 24 hours a day. So what does that mean? That means you can't say no. Uh, you can't insult somebody. Uh, if, if it's the Obamas, you just don't say anything. If it's somebody else, some other politician that you hate, just despise, can't see anything good about them, don't say anything. Right? It says, what's the saying? If you have nothing to good to say, don't say anything, right? So if you have nothing to good to say about somebody, don't say anything. And if they say, are you ignoring you? Well, that's, are you ignoring me? That's rude. Well, just go ahead and be rude and ignore them. But when you do open your mouth, I want you to say, oh, th that's a pretty dress. Have you lost weight? Are you, your figure's great. That's, you look fantastic. Do this especially to women because women are told that they are horrible. 24 hours a day, even in the news, even, I mean, we have anorexic chicks delivering the news now, dressed in mini skirts, who probably work out at 4 a.m. every day with a personal trainer, and then say, oh, look at me, look at me, you're not as good as me. I don't work, I don't wake up at four o'clock in the morning with a personal trainer and work out for three hours, then go to work every day because my looks, my job depends on my looks. I had a friend come over and he's as skinny as a rail. And I said, what are you, what are you doing? You look terrible. You, you are way too skinny. He goes, Oh, I like being skinny. You don't, you don't need to look that like that. You need to, <laughs> you need to get the black version of beauty. And the black version of beauty is not some bone thin, rail, skinny, skinny guy. He looks like he's about to literally fall over dead. Uh, I mean, that's just me. So we need to be encouraging as I'm <laughs> very discouraging, right? But I said, you need to put on weight. You need to eat. You need to, you need to be healthy, that you don't look healthy. So you can say that. I want you to be healthy. I want you to live long. I want you to be prosperous. You don't look like you're being prosperous right now. Be encouraging to your kids. Be encouraging. If your kid does something in the entire month. So we're not going to have spankings for an entire month. Here's the, here's the, the exercise. If your kid does something wrong that you do not agree with, instead of saying, don't do that, blah, blah, you say a gentleman 
or a young lady who's a lady would instead act this way. A young, a young man, a gentleman would act this way. Or, you know, if you were me, you would say a cardinale doesn't do that. A cardinale would do this. And you have to give a positive example of how to act. A lot of parents do just the opposite. They just say, no, 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 doesn't leave you with an option. If you instead are an encouraging parent and you're trying to lower the level of bad behavior, you encouraging, you encourage them and give example and options of what good behavior is. You don't just say a young gentleman doesn't eat apples in between meals, although you should eat apples in between meals. I mean, it's, it's a healthy thing to make sure they're organic apples. Uh, a gentleman doesn't eat donuts in between meals. What you can do is save it for when you have dinner. And after you've eaten all of your dinner, you can have donuts. After you have jogged around the block a couple of times, do you want a donut right now? Go ahead and jog around the block. I mean, or unless you live in, you know, uh, gang warfare, Detroit or something like that. Uh, go jog around the yard a couple of times, a few times, several times, 10 times, then you could come have a donut. That way you are encouraging really good behavior, right? Same thing with a, with a boss. Oh, boss, it's fantastic working for you. I just really enjoy it here. And if you have a job that you hate, you might take October to be encouraging to yourself. Sit down and say, Am I doing something that I hate? Why do I hate it, first of all? And what can I do better? What what could I do to accomplish what I really want? And what do I really want? Sit down and write some goals. So that, there we go. October 1st, we're going to be writing goals. We're going to be encouraging. We're going to be polite to people. We're going to try and encourage our children to do good, positive things. And I am going to try and lead the charge with some very good positive and encouraging videos. So unfortunately, you're not going to have any reports about the Obamas unless the, the Obamas, you know, go ahead and like start feeding children out of their hands, out of their own pocket. I mean, out of their own pocket, not saying, hey, I'm going to start this new boys program to help boys and it's going to be funded by Congress. No, that's not encouraging. That's not a good deed. Uh, anybody could have done that. Uh, his uh, secretary could have done that. Uh, we're starting a new program to help boys out and we're funded by taxpayer money. Not a good deed. That's not a good deed. So there won't be anything about the Obama's politics or anything like that unless it is encouraging. Hurricane. 5,000 people were saved from a hurricane. There we go. There's, there's encouraging work. 5,000 people had insurance policy cover them so they left their home and saved themselves and the insurance came back and rebuilt whatever little damage there was in the in the city encouraging encouraging no crazy stuff about beheading and uh, muslims and and, and and feminists who are just running around just insulting men none of that stuff none of that stuff the only <laughs> Like I said, encouraging videos. I want you to be encouraged. So we're going to try and do that every day. So tune in every day to hear an encouraging word for you to keep you going. Husbands to keep you going. Wives to keep you going. Parents to keep you going. Kids to keep you going. I'm going to try and be as encouraging as I possibly can. Being polite as I am doesn't necessarily that I'm always encouraging. You can be very polite and insult the hell out of somebody. <laughs> I know I practice it quite often. No, I'm kidding. I, I never insult people, but I am polite. And sometimes being polite means you ignore bad stuff. Don't actually address it. My entire channel has been to address bad things and, and trying to no, notice. I always try and put a little bit of, a solution at every at the end of every video. Thank you for watching the Shigama Live Show.